have a wood wick candle burning and it's kind of freaking me out like how loud and crackly it is. Can y'all hear that? I'm just gonna blow that out. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day four of the 12 collabs of Choi Miss. Woo! Yes, in the month of December, I am posting 12 collab videos with people I cannot even believe I am collabing with. You're not gonna believe it. <laughs> Today, I have the honor of collabing with Chris from The Chris Cam. Today, on each of our respective channels, we will be sharing our top five lip product formulas of 2020. And lip products, I'm talking lip balms, lip glosses, cream lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip stains, just among all lip products, what are our top five recommendations? So y'all know that these are gonna be like peak, zenith, top of the top stuff. I don't make a lot of lipstick content here on my channel, even though I love lipsticks, because if I uh, can be honest with y'all for a second, um, I think my lips are perhaps my best feature. I have pretty good lips. I have tried so many formulas of lipsticks because I just love them. But Chris over on her channel does a ton of lipstick content, a lot of drugstore focused content as well. So if you're into affordable drugstore makeup, I definitely, definitely recommend checking out her channel. I know that you'll love it. Just a little bit on Chris herself. She is such a sweet presence in this world. She is very relaxing, approachable. If you wanna see how products work on the face, she has a perfect face for that. She has the biggest doe eyes that are like the cutest thing that I'm very jealous of. And she also has gorgeous lips for lip swatches too. So please watch her video after or during or before this one. If you are coming from Chris's channel, let me know in the comments. I would love to meet all of y'all. And I would also love if you subscribed before you go. If this thing, by the way, um, is for my new people, if you wonder why I do this in all my videos, this is the Korean hearts heart hand, the finger hearts. So that is what this is that I do all the time. <laughs> okay, without further ado, let's get into my top five lip formulas. For each of these, I'm gonna show the lip application as well as the final lip swatch. And I'm gonna go in order from the balmiest to the stainiest. And so first product is a balm balm. Why did I describe it like that? This is the Glossier Balm.com in the scent Mango. And it's specifically this scent. It smells so good. And th the formula of the Glossier uh, Balm.coms are not unique. Like the Innisfree ones are very, very, very similar to this. It's a petrolatum based lip balm, very occlusive, very thick and very nourishing. Now, personally, I really do enjoy the petrolatum kind of consistency of lip balms, but more than that, the reason I'm picking this product is because the mango scent is so, oh, it's so good. I love, I love this scent. I love anything mango and tropical. Oh, I have been wearing this just as a daily lip balm a lot and when you put it on and then put on a face mask over it, you're just like trapped there with the lovely scent of mango. Yeah. The mango scent of the Glossier Balm.com is, I consider it to be clear pretty much. It has a slightest pink color when it comes out of the tube, but when it goes on the lips, it's essentially clear. After I put this on, my lips feel so protected and plump and nourished. So that's my first pick, the Glossier Balm.com, specifically in the mango scent. My second formula is from Laneige. You can find these at Sephora and it is their Lip Glowy Balms. Now I have two. This is in pear scent and this is in the gummy bear scent. My favorite is the pear. I like that that fresher, more fruity kind of scent. And for some reason, pear, it reminds me of the scent of like Asian candies and stuff, which I grew up with. Gummy bear also obviously smells great. <laughs> it smells like candy, Ugh, like sour candy or gummy candy obviously. The gummy, the gummy bear flavor is newer to me compared to the pear, so you can see like the difference in how much I use it, but I do use this. It leaves such a nice glossy finish, but it doesn't have the sticky feel of a lip gloss. This product is called a Lip Glowy Balm, but the consistency is very thin. I would say it's almost the consistency of a lip oil. The pear scent is completely clear. It doesn't have any tint to it. The gummy bear scent, however, it comes out looking a little bit um, like lavender, not lavender, lilac, a pinkish purple. I, I don't find that it translates a lot onto the lips, but maybe just a little bit. 
In summary, for the Laneige Lip Glowy Balms, they have such a slick, luxurious texture and they smell so nice, both of the flavors I have. And I've heard the other ones also smell really good. Uh, I The next one, if I do pick up a third one, granted, it will not be soon because I want to get through more product in these, but the next product I would want to try is a grapefruit scent. My third product is affordable and all of the picks going forward you can find in the drugstore. And I didn't mean to pick drugstore products, but I just really enjoy these drugstore formulas. So for the third product, I have my e.l.f. Rider Doy Lip why did I say it like that? Ride or, die. <laughs> Ride or Die Lip Balm in the shade Tough Cookie, which is such a gorgeous brownie, brickish red nude. The formula of this is thick, like very, very pasty. It comes out of this like a paint tube and it's pretty stiff, <laughs> but I find that is very, it feels very protective as a balm. And this also has enough pigment to stand on its own as a lipstick product as well. I really like the color of this. If I were to get another color, I think I would want, ooh, I think they actually have a grapefruit flavor of this now too, that came out this um, holiday season. Now, as much as I want to purchase another one of these, I have a ton of lip balms and I am really trying to get myself to stop buying like multiples of the same product just because I like the first one instead of just really thoroughly enjoying the first one I got in probably my favorite color variation since that's the one I picked out to try first. Mm, was that roundabout? I think it made sense. You can see how much use I have gotten out of this product so far. Eventually I'll probably use it up and then purchase another one. Maybe it'll be the same color because I really enjoy this tough cookie both color and flavor and scent, um, but maybe I wanna try a new color. So let me know if you have tried these, what your favorite variation of it is. Third formula is a stick lipstick, and this is from L'Oreal. These are within the L'Oreal Color Rich Shine line of lipsticks, and I have the shades 900 Glossy Fawn and 904 Varnished Rosewood. The formula of these are so lovely, so lovely. The shade Glossy Fawn is in my Project Pan 20 and 2020, and I finished it, I used it up. I will twist it all the way up, and I'm at the point where the plastic like scratches my lips every time I use it. So this is done for me. I'm not gonna like scrape it out or anything. It's lived its life. The color of this is a gorgeous, true, true neutral nude lipstick with a glossy finish. I was sold on this product when I watched Ali Glein's lip swatch video. Man, that was a long time ago. Early 2019, I think, is when these came out. And then, off of Emily Noel's recommendation, I also picked up the shade Varnished Rosewood, which is not a kind of shade I own a lot in my collection because I typically like brownish nudes, but this is more of a mauve nude. Sometimes I don't like how mauves look on me just because my complexion to start off with is so warm and so yellow, but this is a very, very subtle version of a cool toned lipstick that I kind of like sometimes when I'm wearing more of a pastel or more of a light bubble, bu bubble gum pink eyeshadow look. I know that this year, and maybe last year too, a bunch of these very balmy formulas came out, but L'Oreal was one of the first on that trend. Since then, the Maybelline Shine Compulsion came out, the Revlon Colorstay Shine lipsticks also came out, e.l.f. came out with their, their tinted lip balm ones that are kind of a dupe for the Clinique. But because I've had these, I have been able to resist purchasing most of the new formulas. And last product, last formula, is another one from L'Oreal. L'Oreal just really kills it with their lip formulas, but these are the L'Oreal Rouge Signature Matte Lip Stains. I love these so much that I went out of my way to purchase five of them. I have four very nude colors. They look a little similar to each other, but they're all different. And then I also have this one red in the shade I Am Worth It, which is more of a, a little bit of a deeper, richer red rather than neon. <laughs> but because these formulas are so thin, so watery, so lightweight. They are very, very comfortable. It feels like wearing water. I'm gonna swatch just one of these for y'all today in the shade I Create, which is the mauve nude color of the ones that I own. I picked this one because it is a nude, so I wear it pretty frequently, but I talk about the color I tease all the time, but I think that this shade is a little bit harder to get your hands on, whereas I Create is a little bit easier to find. 
I also wore the shade I tease already in my wedding makeup trial video. If you haven't watched that already, I'll link it up here, but I wore uh, I tease in my wedding makeup trial. I also wore the shade I explore in my video, my top five fall lipsticks. So I will also link that up in the I cards and in the description box to watch. I have been wearing the L'Oreal Rouge Signature lipsticks so much this year since we started wearing masks because I pretty much stopped wearing lip gloss out of the house. Even these very pigmented lip uh, balms, like the e.l.f. one, it gets all over my mask. These really stain your lips, so maybe there might be like the tiniest bit of transfer onto your mask, but they just stay in place so well because I feel like they're just like sucked into the skin of my lips since they're a stain. And because the formula is so thin, so comfortable, so watery, so stain-like, it's very easy to reapply on top of itself. Okay, enough about these lipsticks. That was the last lipstick formula, and those are my top five picks. To run through them really quickly again, I have the Glossier Balm.com, specifically in the mango scent, which is heavenly. I have the Laneige Lip Glowy Balms. My favorite scent is pear, but I also really do enjoy the gummy bear scents. Thirdly, I have my e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm in the shade Tough Cookie. Fourth are the L'Oreal Color Rich Shine Lipsticks. And fifth are the L'Oreal Color, nope, L'Oreal Rouge Signature Matte Lip Stains. With all the lipsticks I've tried, three out of my top five formulas are affordable lipsticks, and the other two that weren't affordable were Glossier, which is like mid-price range, and Laneige, which also isn't a very luxury price point or anything. That just goes to show you that, yeah, I don't think you need to splurge on lip products. If you want to have an experience with a certain brand, that's fine, you know, y'all make your own purchases, I always say, but I honestly, truly reach for these products way more than my Clinique, my Fenty, my Urban Decay, my NARS lipsticks, yeah. I am so excited to see what Chris picks for her top five formulas. I know, I hope, I know, I hope, <laughs> that they will be amazing, affordable lipstick picks. I anticipate that Chris will pick at least one or two matte lipstick formulas, whether they're cream lipsticks or liquid lipsticks, probably cream lipsticks. So if you haven't watched her video already either, please watch her video and check out her channel. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Y'all are my treasure. And remember that y'all are my treasure. I just said that, Sally. Remember to find beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourselves. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.